Many ionic compounds or salts are soluble in water and the reason is because there is an attraction between the ions in the ionic lattice and water molecules. The first thing we need to understand is that within a water molecule the electric charge is not evenly spread. If we have a look at this picture here we can see that the oxygen and the two hydrogens so if I were to draw this out in terms of the bonding it might look like so with the shared pairs of electrons between the hydrogen and the oxygen. However, oxygen has eight protons in its nucleus. Hydrogen only has one, which means that oxygen exerts a greater pull over those electrons. It attracts them more strongly towards itself um, than compared with the hydrogen atoms. We say that oxygen is electronegative. It has an ability to pull shared pairs of electrons towards itself. As a result of that, when we look at the molecule as a whole, we see that it has a permanent dipole. The negative charge is permanently centered more around the oxygen than the hydrogens. And this little symbol here is called delta, with a small Greek D, obviously, why not, um, indicates that we've got negative charge at this end of the molecule all the time as opposed to round about the hydrogens, delta positive, it's lacking electron density, it's lacking negative charge. When we drop a few crystals of sodium chloride or indeed any soluble ionic salt into water then the water molecules are going to start bashing and crashing into it. And as they do so, we find that we get attractions between the ions and the water molecules. Because the water molecules themselves are polar, they've got this unequal distribution of charge. We would see here that the oxygen end, the electronegative oxygen end of our water molecules is going to be attracted to the sodium ion, opposites attract, and the electropositive hydrogen parts of the water molecules are going to be attracted to our chloride ions. If I just blow this up, I want to have a think about the attraction between them. This has got a name. The attraction between water molecules and oppositely charged ions is called an ion dipole attraction. And because there are so many of them, we haven't just got four or five water molecules surrounding our sodium or chloride ion, we've got layers and layers of them in three dimension. The energy released when we form these new attractions goes some way to um, balancing the energy that went in to break up our lattice, because if we think about it, we've got to put energy in to overcome the attraction between the sodium ions and the chloride ions in the lattice. That's part of the story. The second part of the story is that this reaction is driven by change in entropy. And entropy is a measure of the chaos or disorder in the system. Chemical reactions are favoured if they become more chaotic, more disordered. And we can see that if we go from a very uh, regular structure of ions in a lattice to our ions with their little hydration shells, uh, little duvets of molecules uh, bumbling around in solution, that the chaos, the disorder in our system, in our beaker, has increased so entropy is increased. So we've got two things going on here. The final thing to appreciate is that once the ions are hydrated, which is what we've got here, they, we assume that they're electrically neutral, that they no longer feel the pull of each other's charge. If this has been useful, hit the subscribe button, the effortless way to support your studies. And by clicking the link in the description below, it'll take you straight to Crunch Chemistry School, where you can access my free math skills course, complete tuition and worksheets designed specifically to build your confidence and stretch you. Together we can do this.